Okay, this is the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, we swapped because I was on a 17 bid and Glenn's on uh, the board of directors of one of the 18 bidders. So we are swapping conflicts of interest. This is the Spanish Inquisition for the Worldcon 2018 bids. To the best of my knowledge, only one of the two 2018 bidders is represented. Incorrect. Ah. Chaz. Chaz. So, he's passed it to me. Oh, you're, you're now. I am the speaker for New Orleans. Okay. Uh, we. I'm fine with alphabetical. If everybody is fine with alphabetical, then under those circumstances, would whichever of the two of you is going to be presenting for New Orleans, please come up. Your microphone is here, and what we have is eight minutes allotted, four minutes for your presentation, and then four minutes for Q&A. Hi, everybody. Most of you know me. I'm Mike Wilmoth, and although I happen to be involved with Sasquan this year, uh, I've also been asked to speak for the bid chair for New Orleans in 2018 who couldn't be here. Uh, I've been helping out the New Orleans bid with some advisement on the hotel contract and stuff like that. Uh, New Orleans is planning to bid the uh, Hyatt Regency New Orleans. Uh, it appears to be able to accommodate the Worldcon under one roof. I don't have room numbers off the top of my head. They're negotiating for the fourth weekend in August 2018, so that'd be the weekend before Labor Day. Uh, they're trying to get them to um, get dates earlier than that in August, but for right now, they're looking at the fourth weekend in August. Um, the Hyatt Regency is, roughly speaking, west of the French Quarter, so they would not be using the same facilities as Nolicon 2 in 1988, it would be a little bit west of there. So it's between like the Superdome and the French Quarter, if I recall correctly. Uh, there's a number of other hotels nearby that they could use for overflow, and there appear to be plenty of restaurants nearby within walking distance. Um, other than that, I don't have a lot of information. Um, the uh, Debbie Chowdhury is the bid chair, and um, the home team in New Orleans uh, isn't able to travel that much, so we're, we're lending a hand. Um, so at this point, that's all I've got to present. Are there any questions? Yes. So what do you do to reach out to communities of color, both to attend and the people that are there? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of details on the diversity question, um, but... Um, <laughs> New Orleans is a very diverse culture, and uh, there are plenty of different ethnicities represented in the city, and I'm sure that they will do what they can to reach out to that community. I know that there's a local convention called ContraFlow held in October, and uh, I'm sure that they're going to uh, utilize that event to help promote uh, the New Orleans bid and the convention should they win. Uh, unfortunately, other than that, I don't have a lot of details. Any harassment policy? Any harassment policy? I'm sure they will have one, uh, code of conduct, that sort of thing. Uh, but I don't have any information on that at this time. But if you want to give me your email address, I will pass it along so that they can get back with you directly. Any other? Chaz? Tell them about our party Saturday night. Party Saturday night, which room? 1118. 1118. Chaz will be uh, hosting the party, and um, uh, we hope to see you there on Saturday evening. Any other questions? Accessibility once you're there, public transit? Uh, the hotel appears to be pretty modern, so I suspect that accessibility won't be an issue. Um, the airport is a little ways away, so transportation to the area would probably require a shuttle, taxi, that sort of thing. I know that there is a tram that runs. I don't know off the top of my head if it runs to the airport or how close it runs to the hotel, but I can find that information out for you. 
as far as the accessibility in the area, um, there are some older sections of New Orleans that aren't very accessible. Uh, past experience suggests that most restaurants will be accessible, but some of them won't be just because of the older buildings, especially in the French Quarter. But the hotel itself shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. Local restaurant situation for vegetarians. Um, I don't have those details. Again, get me your email address and I will follow up directly. I am sure that the hotel itself will probably be able to accommodate vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free. As far as the nearby restaurants, I don't know. But I can find out. Jazz. Yes, thanks. Uh, it is the city's tricentennial, so it's going to be a big thing for celebrations in New Orleans at that time. Okay, thank you.